The story of the Cornwall Colts does not begin in Cornwall, or even Canada for that matter. The franchise was founded in 1988 in the town of Messina, New York. The Messina Turbines were the doormat of the league until 1992 when the team moved from Messina to Cornwall. The new ownership group understood it was going to be an uphill battle. However, all their hard work and patience paid off as the franchise captured their first Bogart Cup championship in 1995. They would successfully defend the title the next year in 1996. The Colts had now arrived, winning back-to-back -back Bogart Cups. The Fred Page Cup was next. At the turn of the century, the Colts would take that next step to become Fred Page Cup champions and qualify for the RBC Cup in Fort McMurray, Alberta. They would not go on to win the RBC Cup that year, but the entire city of Cornwall was behind their Colts every step of the journey. This level of hockey, you turn over, you know, you turn over players and kids, uh, you know, at least ten a year. So you, you know, you get to, you get to meet some unbelievable personalities, and it's it's really, um, it's really what makes it work, and what you know, what what is gratifying. So, you know, you know, all along, it's been every kid that comes through here and succeeds, I make sure they have a place uh, beyond the Cornwall Colts and, and playing hockey. You know, it's a the game is one thing, but, you know, I truly believe it's all about just uh, valuing differences of your teammates and learning how to deal with people. And when you can do that, uh, when you move on from here, you'll, uh, you'll have some good stuff going on. Yeah, well, I mean, Ian, I've worked with Ian for three years now. I've been here for three years, and he's helped me a lot with uh, getting a scholarship to NCAA as well as academics and getting everything aligned up. So. You know, Cornwall is about education. I will take a younger kid and move him on to major junior, but we're, we're basically focused on uh, moving all our kids on academically. That's, that's been the tradition. As you can see on the wall, it's, um, we've moved a lot, a lot of kids on. You know, we have great, you know, we have great academic institutions here, you know, both languages, anything a kid needs, college, so they can, you know, when they're older and you know they gotta go to or they have to apply part time to keep their NCAA eligibility, we have uh, St. Lawrence College here, which also is part of Ottawa U. So there's they have all facets of uh, of academics, and all our players know from the day they come in that this is this is about academics. Like if you can't cut it in school, um, you won't be here long. I just went to high school last year's grade 11. This year's grade 12. But um, for the older guys, there's a St. Lawrence College, there's other programs online to go through. But um, I guess it's just a learning experience for everyone. Just, we just have a great city. Um, the facility is top notch in the country. So, you know, it's, you know, when the kids first come into the city and come into this building, it's, uh, it's almost a done deal. So, you know, that's, that's why Cornwall is a great destination. Uh, I think it's a it's quite a hockey town. I like it a lot. The fans are uh, real involved with the players, and we work hard on on moving them on to school. Whether it's NCAA in the U.S. or Canadian university, everybody goes somewhere when it's when the time comes. On the forecheck, F1's got good pursuit. F2, be quick. You have to be quick. You're either there or you're not. F1, if you have support, we're going. If you don't, let's get back into control. Everybody good with us? Yeah. We all in here? Yeah. Billy, you good to go? <laughs> Mr. Cooper, you good to go? <laughs> Austin McDougall? <laughs> Parker Kroll? Yeah. yeah, you good to go? Come yeah. on, Eddie. Come on, boys, let's go, eh? Give me a 
Jeff here with Wolfrey, Renko, Ricky. With alumni like Cam Barker, Jesse Winchester, and Chad Kilger, the Colts know how to develop talent. The future is bright in Cornwall, fresh off their Bogart Cup last year. The only task left is the RBC Cup.